Hey everybody, it's Under My Cap, and welcome back to another video where today I'm going to be showing you how to use the slash fill command in Minecraft Bedrock. So without further ado, let's get straight into this. Now this command is actually a very simple command to learn, and it's a really fun one to use, and it's very useful in a lot of cases. Now, if you ever wanted to build a massive cube or a hollow area, the fill command is the right command for you. Now, I've done a video on this on Java, so if you do want to check it out for Java, I'm sure I'll leave it in the description as well in the info card, which will pop up about now. But yeah, so what you want to do is you want to go into your command line, which is slash, and it gives you this little bedrock appearance, and you want to type in slash fill. Now after this, you want to have your little area, so I'm going to do my squiggly lines, just because I don't really have a set area yet, and do another three squiggly lines. They're called titles, but I just do that anyway. And then what you want to do is you want to type in whatever block you want. So I'm going to do, before you hit enter, sorry, you want to um, allow or tell your command what you want your size to be. So basically it will fill from your where you are to three blocks away from you X, three blocks above you Y, and three blocks away from you Z. So if we hit enter, we will be inside them, but they pick us out, and you'll see that it uh, has done a three by three, or a four by four. Now the reason why it does a four by four is because it is doing three, but then it also adds another three there, and another three there. So make sure you take that into consideration when you do it. Now you can also use, now. When we go back into the command, you can also change these to whatever coordinates you like. You can simply just go slash set world spawn and you'll see your coordinates up there. And then you can simply type them into the, uh, the command here. And then obviously hit enter to save and then go back and find the other coordinates. It's a little bit complicated, but it's probably the most easiest way to do it. Um, but as you can see, so that's our first bit. Now let's actually get into depth with the other five things you can do with this command. Now as you can see here it filled it like the normal command but if we actually go back into the command we get a whole bunch of these options here. Whoops. And these are basically just allowing us to have a better way to fill stuff. So you can have hollow areas, you can uh, keep the blocks in the area that you filled. It's really simple and what you want to do is you want to type in a one or an additional one and then you want to type in, well let's go through destroy first. So destroy Oh, so what I did just then was I accidentally misspelt it, but as you can see, it destroyed the blocks. Now, if this was not glass, so let's change this to, let's say, dirt. As you can see, when I happen to go back in here and I replace it with another amount of dirt or anything else, you'll see that it creates a whole bunch of items, and that's because destroy will keep the items and drop them. Now, replace is just like destroy, except it doesn't actually drop the item. So if I went into here and went replace, and let's replace it with stone just to make it a little bit easier to. Uh, I didn't know that that's what stone was, but, but as you can see, it didn't destroy the other blocks there before. Well, let me remove all of these to show you as well. As you can see, none of those blocks were destroyed because replace simply just replaces the block. It doesn't break them, it just replaces them. Now the next one we'll go over is keep. Now keep is a very, very cool command and you'll probably see this over here. So let's say I have an area which I want to create, but it has a whole bunch of blocks in it. So as you can see, I've got a whole bunch of chorus dirt and I want to fill the area, but I don't want to fill the dirt. Now what you can do is you can go back into your command and you can just change the replace to keep and you'll see that the blocks inside that area haven't actually been broken. So this command only replaces air, it doesn't replace actual physical blocks. Now the next command is hollow and hollow basically as it sounds, will create a hollow area. So if I went hollow, you'll see that, well, you can see inside as well, but it creates a hollow cube, which you can put whatever you want in it. It's really cool. And the funny thing is that there is actually another command called outline, and outline is basically hollow. So if I went out, line, hit enter, you'll see it does basically the same thing. They've got the same area, the same everything. It's just 
two separate commands with the same thing. But yeah, so that's basically it. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you are new. Um, I also do have my socials in the description as well, um, and my donation link if you do want to support me. But uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See ya!